The day got off to a rocky start in Bibb County, so we wanted to take a closer look at what caused the problems. Kayla Solomon has the story. As soon as the polls opened at 7 a.m., people say they had issues ranging from electronic ballots not working to some people not being able to cast their votes at all due to long wait times. We get in there, they couldn't check us in, the machines weren't ready. They were only had two machines that looked like they were plugged in. Tony Blakely says he's voted at Northeast High School for over 30 years and he's never had any major problems. It, it was it was bad and I hate to know that my tax money is going to pay for that fiasco and now I don't get the vote. He says he waited for an hour but had to leave at 7.30 to get to work on time. But because of his schedule, he won't make it back to the polls today. Just minutes away at New Griswoldville Baptist Church, Emilita Martin says she did get to vote, but not on the machine. I'm just very concerned that I had to fill out a paper ballot in 2020 when, um, and I'm worried about my vote being counted. Although the machines were up and running at this church by 930, there were similar delays at Macon Evangelistic Church, where Susan Wade says the scanner was not working. But they were just having everybody place their printed ballot into the document there on the scanner. I mean, you could see everybody's just stacked up. By Tuesday afternoon, most voters did say those technical issues from the morning were fixed. In Macon, Kayla Solomon, 13 WMAZ News. And again, just a reminder, the polls are open until 7 o'clock, but if you're in line at 7, you will be allowed to vote.